Hey guys, RTT back here for another video, guys. Today we'll be talking about the Surface Duo 1 and 2. And should it get Windows 11 or should it get Android 12L? Which is better for these devices? So starting off with the way, yes, Gus33000 is closing in on trying to get and Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1. He's also going to do this on the Surface Duo 2. But right now he's doing it on the Duo 1. And he has been posting non-stop videos and just overall stuff about this running as you guys can see he is going ahead and pulling it up the boot screen for windows 11 right here and this is actually gonna be the startup screen that pops up and he's doing a really really good job of getting this to run on the surface 201 now the question is should they should it actually run windows 11 because after the android 11 update what we saw was the duo one became really a amazing phone yet again which is not surprising at all if you have used the duo one uh when you when it first came out it was buggy mess that it actually got fixed it became really good and then of course it got even better with the android 11 update but the question is is it better to have a android 12l which 12l is going to come out in march it's a fully optimized software for foldable tablets slash phones that's the whole purpose of android 12l is it better to have android 12l and give us that full-on pledge experience of a software that is optimized for you know a phone that is foldable or is it better for performance and just overall wise to go ahead and go with windows 11 now let's go ahead and break this down because this is something that is really important so let's say for example once he does go ahead because i do truly believe once he does go ahead and put windows 11 on this while yes it will be really cool it will be a really cool idea to have a windows os software and because microsoft refused to hire this guy when well, everybody going to get windows Contilium on this whole concept but the question is, with all that being said, it's not going to be optimized completely. Yes, it's going to work. Yes, it's going to run. And he might be able to pull up certain things, pull up this, that, and the third, and actually run somewhat of a full-on laptop experience on the Surface Duo 1. But because of the processor, because of the RAM size, because of all that, it's just not going to really do much. The This is more or less just a show of if microsoft wanted to they could make this actually amazing now let's say microsoft did find a way to say listen we're going to optimize this device we're going to make this device when run windows 11 let's say they do it with the surface zero three is that a small idea over android 12 l in my opinion no i think they should go with 12 l and i think they should run with 12 l and with the surface zero three we're probably going to see that be released with android 12 l now, if they do go the, uh, you know, Windows 11 route, I feel like that would confuse a lot of people. Uh, it would be a really smart move on the fact that it would give a lot of people the ability to actually go ahead and have more for, 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 for performance type performance type device rather than just have kind of like a more or less a gimmick in a way. Uh, but at the same time, I just feel like with how this is going and how everything is working right now already with Android, 11 uh where a lot of applications are simply not optimized and ready to go for you know windows 11 i just feel like microsoft would be even in a bigger boat trying to force out windows 11 onto us on these devices rather than just continuing to push out android 12l when it is it's time for the surface 01 and surface 02 now that does not mean this is not exciting because what this does mean is that again this man is an absolute monster as he got this running on the Lumia 952. That's absolutely uh, amazing uh, uh, feature how he could run it on both of those devices. And the Lumia did have a arm that was able to run it on, but the Surface 01 apparently was not supposed to. It was not supposed to have the arm that did go ahead and run it on. And also, I actually talked about this in my, uh, I covered this in my last video. I was incorrect. The reason why his storage got cut in half is because of the fact that he split his phone into half pretty much. And he explains it in the very top here, which is really interesting. So this is kind of how he explains how this is all working for him right now. So you can see it's only on one screen, right? So right here it says that, by the way, for those who are wanting the logo, on here is provided by the uefi firmware it's basically just two phones uh icons glued together drafted this quickly yesterday uh here is a bigger version so pretty much what's happening is 
only half of the phone is actually going ahead and being shown and running Windows 11 at the moment. So that's why it's only giving him half the storage. Now, again, like I said, we're going to find out more updates as the day goes on. I just really feel like if I'm Microsoft, and again, like I said, you know, if Microsoft could is w probably easily watching this guy, easily trying to figure out what this guy is doing, easily trying to replicate what he's doing, because this is a huge money maker for Microsoft if they can get Windows 11 running. I just personally think it would probably be in their best interest to avoid that and just go ahead and go with Android 12 out and really try to optimize it for the Duo uh, 1 and Duo 2 because what we have been told and the report so far has been that the Microsoft has already entered in with Google to try to go ahead and optimize these devices for the Android 12 L. So again, like I said, just want to make a video to talk about this guy, getting a lot of comments down below saying, hey, listen, now that this guy is running Windows 11 on the Surface Duo 1, shouldn't Microsoft jump on that idea, jump on that concept and say, listen, whoa, 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 timeout. We could, can you imagine if they release a Windows 11 update? That would be absolutely insane. The only way this would ever work is if you somehow kind of do like a virtual machine on the Surface Duo 1 where you could boot into different uh, OSs. You could boot, let's say, for example, into Android uh, 11 and also boot into Windows 11. That's the only way you could make this work. And because Microsoft, no way in heck they could figure that out. Even this guy is still taking some time to figure out how to run Windows 11 on this device, let alone boot into different OSs probably never going to happen but it is a fun idea fun concept to talk about so guys tell me down below your thoughts opinions make sure you get some love to gus 33000 on twitter as this man is an absolute monster i'll see you guys in the next one peace out